welcome you to you, listener, wherever you are. My name is Victor Aichi, and this is the flow of Gatson State, of course. 94.9 FM is the one you want to stick with. It's the modern edition of the Mason Link, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have already questions already <laughs> in your mind. You know, they have a, a lot of questions in mind. What is the Mason Link? Who is the Mason Link? <laughs> Don't worry, in a short while, we'll definitely find out who the Mason Link is. I'm not alone in the studio today. I'm here with great personalities, both offline, online, <laughs> however you may look at it, but virtually we have Father Francis, Father Augustine. Father Augustine, can you hear me? Hello, Father Augustine. Okay. Guess who will join us shortly? Hello? Hello, Father. Hello? Hello. Hello. Father Gasson, can, can you hear, hear me? You. Hello, I can hear you. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so we already introduced you, and I'm sure everyone is excited to hear from you. Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Hello, Father Gaston. Victoria. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> Father Augustine oh, is... Thank you so much, okay. uh, Victoria, for the opportunity. Okay. Thank you so much. Also with me in the studio is Her Excellency, <laughs> the beautiful, amazing, <laughs> Mrs. Oni <laughs> Raf Wachiko. Uh, I wonder where Her Excellency is coming from. My name is Oni Nye. And thank, you, thank you, Victoria. <laughs> thank you, Queen V. <laughs> Thank you for having us in this program. I'm so excited to be on this program on the very first edition. That's the Medin edition. Thank you, Flo FM. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you're wondering, <laughs> Father Augustine and Antioni, they are the founders of the Hearts to Build Youth Development Initiative. And don't worry, shortly, <laughs> all these things that we're saying are going to be you know, digested in a few, few minutes of your time. You're welcome. And this is the Mason Link, a program targeted to ensure that youths develop all round. And as long as you stick to us, hey, a lot will be dished out shortly to make sure that you grow as a youth. Permit me to hand over to the beautiful. <laughs> I wonder where that beauty is coming from. Well, thank you very much, Victoria, and thank you again, the management of Flow FM, for having us uh, use your medium to talk about the Missing Link Initiative. And uh, uh, my partner is over there, and I'm sure he's eagerly waiting to throw the first ball. So, Victoria, you ask Father Gosson to take us through what we are all about, what are we doing with the Missing Link? Who is the Missing Link? Is it I, Victoria, or Father Gosson, or you that is listening to us, who is the Missing Link? Father? <laughs> okay, before we run to that... Before we run to that, I'm sure that the listener, wherever the person is right now, they're a bit curious to know a little about you and Father Augustine Obi. So, I'm going to just, you know, in just a few seconds, few minutes, Father Augustine, can you let the listener know exactly who you are? Let us know more about you. Oh, thank you so much, listeners. Uh, it's amazing uh, uh, to be on earth to talk about the missing link. And, and uh, thank you to Flo FM for the incredible opportunity. Um, my name is uh, Augustine, if I may be. I am a priest of the Catholic Diocese of Umwa here. Uh, over the past 11 years of my priestly life, I uh, have built up lots of skills and experiences. Um, in, in student engagement and overall youth development. I started as a university chaplain at the University of Queensland and working my way from the bottom up as part of student uh, support. So working as a chaplain, I was acquainted with the needs and challenges young people face every day and how best to respond to them, how best to support them. So um, I, when I... Uh, did my doctorate, I was able to as well uh, uh, acquire some framework and a lot of youth uh, centered decision making skills. So I have particularly enjoyed youth engagement and support roles. 
uh, especially the opportunity to assist young people from diverse backgrounds and ability levels. So since the completion of Africa in 20 to 2019, I have been privileged to teach at the University of Melbourne and the uh, School of Critical Arts, Perth, both in Australia. In a, in a nutshell, I have been on the front line of trying to help young people become successful and achieve their goals in life. Okay, thank you very much. So I have been in, involved in youth development sector overseas for a while. Looking for a vehicle to drive this my passion home in Nigeria. And thank goodness <laughs> when I reunited with my with only Ralph Wachuku, whom I call uh, an angel last month. <laughs> so <laughs> I got to know that apparently she shares the same vision with me. So two of us resolved to drive our dream together. And here we are living our dream. Isn't that amazing? It is. It's very amazing. <laughs> so um, basically, anyone who is listening right now knows exactly that the person is in good hands. So you don't have any reason to be afraid. So I'll just let Auntie Oni to talk. Exactly. She will be the one to talk about herself. Oh, go ahead. Man. Just a little. You know, you have a lot. I know your resume is quite, you know, much, but just a little because of our time. Well, thank you very much, Queen V. Thank you so much. And I'd like to thank uh, very generously uh, my super partner. If he calls me an angel, he is the archangel. I'd like to thank uh, very much uh, Augustine. Father Augustine has been so amazing. My name is Eugenia Ralph Mwachuku. I'm just a woman who aspires to lead volunteers, who is passionate about doing good, passionate about making impacts you know, in people's lives. Well, I have been a broadcaster, and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering why has her voice gone to all these years. Well, I've been in the broadcasting uh, medium, I've worked there, I veered into public relations, and I now became a Rotarian. Rotary International gave me an opportunity to be able to um, do good in the world. And I'm so proud to be a Rotarian. And while being a Rotarian, I interacted with a lot of young people. I'm still interacting with them. And I remember when I was in University PR of Michael Obara University of Mikocho, I had a lot of contact with young people. If you know me very well, one of the things that drives me very strongly is mentoring young people. I have been mentored, I have enjoyed having that direction from people. So my greatest uh, uh, source of happiness is adding value to people's lives. And uh, somehow, somehow, uh, the thought of having this initiative uh, came up. And, you know, as human beings, I just let it fly for some time. Then from nowhere, I think it's divine providence. Um, we got united, we united again, me and Augustine, and we had to chase this dream so crazily and so far so good. The past four weeks has been something else, but I tell you a lot of things. So I'm a mother of five amazing children. I'm into communication. What else do you want to know? My first degree is in fine and applied, and before I went into communication, and I'm presently uh, a PhD scholar uh, for communication. So good to be back. To the studio. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's something she left out that she has five amazing kids. So don't don't think about just just don't look at her physique. Uh, she has five like five amazing kids. A squad, and, like a full squad. All right. Um, let's let's not keep um, let's not keep people you know in the dark for so long. Antonio, I want to ask you quickly: What inspired the name the Missing Link? Well, thank you very much. And what is the Mission Lake really about? Well, uh, to anyone who is listening, the Mission Link means a lot to you. I'm sure when you heard the name first, uh, Victoria, it also struck something in you. The yes, Mission Link, the Mission Link is that. You know, look at it from the uh, biblical point of view, physical point of view, whatever, wherever you look at it, we all need one another to 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 exist in life. We all need one another to, to do whatever we are doing. No man is an island. So what is it that, you're, that is missing in your life? What is that you've, you've not got? Some other person can actually do it. So when I talk about missing link, I'm talking about people coming together, you know, um, uh, trying to amass whatever resources they have, be it intellectual, be it physical, be it psychological, be it moral, whatever it is that you've gotten, God has given you as a gift it to be able to do good to the other person. I may not have that. Victoria may have it, or Samson may have it, or Ifani has it. Whatever you have, 
we should be able to complement one another and complete one another. So the story of missing link is that we all need one another. We either complement one another or we complete one another. Does that answer your question? <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> Just not for me alone, but to anyone who is listening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Father, um, you know, when you when we call you like this, um, I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> wondering, like, you know, if I'm going to make my confession right now, <laughs> but um, <laughs> let, let me, I'm, I'm just calling you, <laughs> Father Augustine. Um, what kind of contents are we looking out for uh, in the Mister Link? What kind of contents? What are we looking at? Look, um, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Victoria. Uh, that's an incredible question. Look, uh, just like Oni mentioned, the Mission Link for me is it evokes sadness in me i must admit you know because when you when you look at our nation there seems to be inherently tragic lives that young people live in nigeria so every day we are seeking for the missing link what is it that we need to complete us so our our intention in mission link is to to find a means we can use to have that conversation with young people in Nigeria. So basically, we're going to be uh, having a conversation, talking to young people. So when we talk to young people, we listen to them. It's like a bottom-up approach. So we're going to be uh, uh, going to get into capacity building, looking at patterns, okay. themes, strategies. You know, just like we are, we we are students are on track at the moment. So the question is, what are they doing at home? Are they just wasting and roasting away? Even though Nigeria is not in good shape at the moment, of course, there is something students can do to make themselves useful. They can learn soft skills. So these are the things we'll be providing. There. We can teach them marketable skills in the contemporary world. We're going to teach them uh, self-belief. We're going to teach them goal setting. You know, so these are the things we'll be, you know, talking about. And and and, and we're not just talking about them. We'll be listening to young people. So we want to get their own opinion. So what can we do, regardless of the fact that Nigeria is in a bad shape? How can we move forward? How can we journey together to build up ourselves in order to live a happy life? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so it's a full package, <laughs> and um, anyone out there right now yeah, that it is, um, yeah. it's a young person will be asking, ah, is it really for me? So, um, Antony, um, is there an age bracket that this program is targeting? Is there an age bracket? Yes, um, you remember people say that the youth are the future leaders of tomorrow. I don't believe in that axiom. I believe that the, the, the future has actually come now. Okay. And uh, it begins from you, it begins from me, it begins from the person in the village or in our homes. Now we're looking at the ages of between 16 and 35. Okay. This is a very critical age. A very critical age. So you look at people who are in their higher secondary, those who have finished from the university, and fresh graduates. You know, we're looking at them. Okay. And by the way, it's all about no person was born useless. Sure. No person was born useless. Sure. It's just that they've not been able to identify what they can do by themselves, for themselves, for their own good and for the good of the communities. So that is where we come in. You know, it's been a burden. Uh, I and uh, Ifani, uh, we are actually, we are adults today. So we actually, it's, it's just a way of giving back to the society. What can we do? to invest in human beings, to add values to them, and to make them greater than who we are today. We are mentored, we are inspired by some persons, so it's high time for us to begin to look inwards and see what we can give back to these young people to make them greater than we are today. Beautiful. <laughs> I like the way she lands, to make them better. <laughs> the, the line there is better. So they're going to be dishing out improvement. They're going to be talking about capacity building, they're talking about empowerment. They, they're looking at a situation whereby they sit down and have discussion. And you heard it, the age bracket is 16. So you don't even have an excuse. So you're saying you are an adult when I'm 18, that's when I'll talk about capacity building. No, that's not what you're saying. They're saying from 16 to 35, they have you covered. And let's not, um, let's just touch a little bit. Who is really pioneering this? Hmm. Ah. Uh. I am Augustine, Father Augustine. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I believe people have an organization. Yes. So, can you enlighten us more about the organization? Awesome. You know, when people talk about, we listen to Missing Link. Missing Link is just a program. It's just a program. It's like a driver. 
one of the drivers we need to use to drive our initiative. Okay. The organization is Heart to Build, Heart as in H-E-A-R-T, two for Figo, then Build, Heart to Build. You know, being able to have that you know that innate feeling that passion you know you just you just want to help someone out there to build him or her so hard to build is the organization and the, the missing link is just a radio program to drive our organization we have other uh, strategies we are using to um to be able to achieve all that we've set out to do so that is who we are all right now the ball is in your court. You can call in in this number I'm going to give you right now to ask her any question and also <laughs> ask father any question, anything you feel should help, anything, you know, whatever it is that, that is that, that your curiosity right now, eh? That's your curiosity. <laughs> That's what you want us. Drop hey, up. Hey, <laughs> drop up now. Nah, 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 you could drop up. So the numbers to call are 0808 182 6949 or 0811 605. 2949. I'll take it again. 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. We'll be expecting your questions and they'll be here to do justice to it. So while we're waiting for the calls to come in, um, I'm going to direct you straight to the Hearts to Build initiative. The Facebook is the Hearts to Build initiative. Hello? Please move away from your radio set once you call. Hello? Oh, it's like the network is having some issues. You know it's been raining, so it's... Just keep the calls coming in. So the Heart to Build initiative has a Facebook account, a Facebook page. You could go to the Heart to Build initiative. The Heart, Heart, like H-E-A-R-T. Two is the digit, two. Hello? Ah, we lost that one again. Ah. Uh. Hello? All right. Antonio, I want to ask you a quick question. So, um, before we get into more details and more calls, um, I'm sure um, a lot of people will be starting afresh. What is your view on starting on a clean slate? Well, um, it's to let the past be, remain in the past. It is not something you just do. It's not like a switch on, a switch off thing. It's something you do deliberately, something you'll be intentional about. You want to let the past be the past. Learn the lessons Hello. you've learned. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Your name and where you are calling from, please. You're calling from my house. Hello? Yeah, you're calling from my house. CJ, you're welcome to the show, The Missing Link. CJ, yes. all right, fire on. Yes. What's your question for our beautiful mama here? I, yes, I, I, I want to know, you, you have an office in Omaha. Okay. Oh, ah, thank you very much, CJ. And I'm sure you're excited and, and like us to have this program. This is the very first program and you're the first caller. So thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to visit our page. And uh, just like Victoria had mentioned it, I have a prize for you for being the first caller on this show. Ah. Uh, we have thank, a, you. Uh, thank you very much. We have, uh, we have, uh, we have an office, uh, but it's been developed. But we are virtually, you know, today's world uh, is in your hands. We are now working on a digital space. We have uh, social media handles. So if you have any question you want to ask, uh, we're going to drop the lines for you to get back to us. Not the studio lines, our own uh, organization lines. So you'll be able to uh, drop some comments and uh, ask some questions. And be sure that I'm going to see you one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to see me one-on-one, -on -one, you can actually catch me anywhere you want. Okay, I can't <laughs> wait to meet you, man. <laughs> but CJ, before you run along, go to our Facebook page and let me know you are the person that called us. And uh, after now, I'll just drop your phone number there. I'll get back to you. Okay. Thank Congratulations, you, CJ. You are the first <laughs> caller on the Mission Link. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my husband. Thank you. All right. So um, you had it. You want to win more gifts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are more gifts. <laughs> and we will be right back shortly. And um, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you for being there with us. <laughs> it's still the Mason Link, a program that is targeted at the youth. The age bracket is 16 to 35, and you've been listening to Flow 94.9 FM. 
Queen Victoria is my name, and I still have along with me the phenomenal Auntie Oni, and of course, Father Augustine, who is joining us virtually. Keep the calls coming in, 0808-182-6949, or 0811-605-2949. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Oh, we lost that one. <laughs> okay, calling back. Hello? Dear Network, pity us be now. Kind to us. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. The How to Build Youth Development Initiative is targeted on ensuring that the youths get what information they need at the right time, the right place, that they know who to speak to. They want, they want, to, be, they want to be educated. Anything that you have right now, we have issues of strike, we have the issues of the heart, we have a lot of things that concerns the youth. The missing link will be dealing with those issues one after the order absolutely just tune in by 4 p.m every saturday on flow 94.9 fm and those phenomenal coaches will be here to answer your questions network i have asked you to be kind to us <laughs> <laughs> okay so um Antonio. Mm -hmm. I want to hear more of your sweet voice. Well, uh, uh, well um, I'm expecting you to also let the listeners know about the numbers. They can actually reach us after this program. It's very, very important because feedback is what makes, makes communication complete. Yes, very sure. We're going to do that shortly after this call. Hello? Hello? Oh, network. Oh Lord, please! Oh well, um, yeah, this this thing work for us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we didn't consider net, we didn't consider network when we were talking about missing link. We're talking about only human beings. Well, like uh, Victoria just said, uh, the Heart to Build initiative is a deliberate action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The deliberate action to impact on our younger ones, on our youth, you know, to begin to reawaken their consciousness on what they can do, to begin to tell them what you can do what we can do together to uh, give you the needed direction to tap into what God has given you. That we all have some potentials. We all have gifts God has given us. Do you know mine? It's not about going to school. Can you begin to scale up to be able to scale up? Um, we are on strike. People are complaining. Things are so tough. But let's begin to see something good in these difficult situations and find a way to um, show that this weight and help one another. That's why actually the missing link is there. And that's why the Heart to Build initiative is all about just to help someone there to make a living and to feel better and to do better. Thank you very much, Antonio and Father Augustine, for bringing your wealth of wisdom to this very program. And um, I know exactly that the Hearts to Build initiative has a Facebook handle, and um, you're eager to hear Hearts to Build initiative is the name of the Facebook page. And on Instagram is Hearts to Build, don't forget. And your website is build dot org and there are a few numbers that i'm going to call out to you that you could actually call you know to interact with them or to have them come to you maybe to enlighten your youth on exactly what the the society is all about those numbers are zero nine one six seven one three eight zero zero two or you could call zero eight one two eight five zero two three eight five I'm sure that these numbers will be dropped on their Facebook account and be sure that every guide that you need will be given to you. Tune in next Saturday, same time, same station. I'm sorry we can no longer take calls. But just you can just, go just there, before you go, you just know? before we go, uh, I would like you to repeat the numbers again. They can actually send us messages, not just calls. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking about 0812. Okay. Eight five zero two three eight five for the airtel number, and for the those of us who use MTN zero nine zero one six seven one three eight zero zero two. And if you have a very fast finger, I just have two lines to drop for you, just on the very very fast fingers. If you can try it, three four zero seven seven two five six five two eight two six triple nine four. Again, three four zero seven seven two five six. 
0208-5282-69994. And one more again, uh, 1284 2883 Six seven eight six seven three eight five six nine five. One more time. One two eight four two eight eight three six seven three eight five six nine five. If you got it, please do well to go to our page and let me know that you got it. Thank you very much for being part thank of this Thank you program. very much, Father Augustine. Thank you so much for joining us on this show. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, Auntie Onye and the beautiful phenomenal <laughs> mother. <you>. And um, <laughs> I've been your favorite. No, young baby. Uh, <laughs> Some people will call me Queen. <laughs> Queen Victoria. <laughs> Tune in next Saturday. Next, you know, next time we're going to have more, a lot of thoughts. Next Saturday, same time, same station, and be intentional about having a positive mind shift. Victoria Chi is my name, and this is Flow 94.9 Affair.